Now, votes are being counted in Israel following the country's fifth general election in four years. The country's former Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, has told supporters in Jerusalem he's on the brink of a big victory after exit polls put his right-wing bloc narrowly ahead. The current Prime Minister, Yair, Yair Lapid, says he's waiting for the final results. Our correspondent in Israel, Yolan Nell, has been following the, the developments for us. After a high turnout, exit polls suggest Israel's former Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is in position to take the reins of power again. But no matter what happens, his allies on the far right are jumping for joy. They're now the third largest party. Ago, the leaders of religious Zionism, known as racists and extremists, were out on the fringes of Israeli politics. But this election has seen them transformed into key players. With his eyes on a cabinet post, Itamar Ben Gavir now tries to look like a conventional candidate. But this was him last month inflaming tensions at a flashpoint in East Jerusalem by pointing a gun at Palestinians during clashes. <laughs> Veteran campaigner Mr Netanyahu started election day waking up a startled voter and telling him to cast his ballot. Yet it's his strategic deal with the ultra-nationalists that could lead to his comeback. <laughs> Current PM Yair Lapid made his pitch on the job, signing a maritime deal with Lebanon, an enemy state. His party's urged caution until all the votes are counted. But there's no caution here. Biden, don't worry. Itamar is a very good guy. What do you like about him? He's a man. He's a man like, like America in America. The terrorists, if some terrorists he do something not good, so I'm, in America, you're going to kill him. Only the terrorists. At the Arab, it's OK. Weeks of coalition wrangling could now follow. And there's always the chance that celebrations will be short-lived. Well, let's talk to Yolan now, who joins us live from Jerusalem. Uh, Yolan, as you were saying in that report there, uh, the Netanyahu camp believe they have got this. Uh, how long do we actually find out officially what the outcome is? Well, it could be several days before the official results are properly announced, but we are getting election results through all the time as the ballots are counted, more than 60% at the moment. And what we're seeing at the moment is that they do still look to be very much in Benjamin Netanyahu's favour, uh, putting his Likud party on track for a first place finish with more than a quarter of the 120 parliamentary seats. Um, that number, along with the projected number of seats um, for that extreme right religious Zionism party, also two ultra-Orthodox Jewish parties uh, that are in his bloc would definitely give them a majority. So at the moment, it is looking like a dramatic comeback uh, for Mr Netanyahu, who was, of course, pushed out of office um, last year by a very unlikely coalition, ideologically diverse, really united by their opposition to him. Uh, Mr Netanyahu is somebody who remains on trial for corruption in Israel, uh, charges that he denies, uh, but that has very much split the country. Um, he told his supporters in Jerusalem a few hours ago that he was the party he thought was on the verge of a great victory. Um, but still, what's really remarkable is the rise of the extreme right of this uh, party with leaders known for their explicitly racist rhetoric uh, against Palestinians. And that did cause rising tensions in flashpoint uh, neighbourhoods in East Jerusalem overnight. Uh, yeah, Lapid, the current prime minister um, who leads this uh, very fragile um, alliance that was it finally uh, saw enough defections that it, it lost uh, control in, in Parliament um, in the summer. And, and uh, that's why we went back to these elections. Well, Yair Lapid is saying that, you know, still people will wait patiently for the final results. And we have got bated breath at the moment with two uh, small parties in the anti-Netanyahu bloc hovering at the moment just below the electoral threshold. 
Okay, well, we will keep a very close eye. Yolan, for now, thank you. Yolan Nell, who's in Jerusalem for us covering that election.